Today is the Friday before my nose job, so I'm gonna give you guys all the tea about what to expect. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Cora. I post videos about beauty, lifestyle, and so many other things. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to see when I upload and hit that notification bell to get updates. I have a very rambunctious puppy on my lap who's very excited. I'm sitting on the floor. If you see a little black ball of fur, I apologize. I think I mentioned in my last video I was getting a puppy, but this this is Ernie, he is a Cavapoo, and I'm obsessed with him. <laughs> now, if you've watched my channel for years and years, even back to my Accutane videos, I have talked about getting a nose job since the beginning, and now I'm finally doing it. I wanted to wait until the timing was right. One of the reasons is I wanted to make sure I was choosing the right doctor, so I did literally five years of research before deciding on my doctor, which I will give you his name at the end of this video. Two, I did not want to compromise results results for price. So I will also be disclosing the price of my nose job in this video. So I wanted to make sure I was financially stable enough to be able to afford this procedure because it's very expensive. Three, I wanted to make sure my mindset and reasons were right for doing this. I am only doing this for myself. I've never had anybody tell me that my nose is ugly or big. I've just always hated my nose. And since I've always wanted to do this, I decided now is the right time to do it. Now, a couple of things. One, I really don't care about people's opinions if they think my nose looks bad or it looked better before. If you make a comment like that, I'm going to be deleting it. I also have a comment moderator, so I'm not even going to see those comments. I also am getting married in a year, and if you didn't know, it takes a full year for your nose to heal before, you know, you see the final results. So what starts as a result in a few months may not be what it looks like in a year, but I wanted to give myself enough time before my wedding to have the final result I want. I seem like I have a really misbehaved puppy, but I never sit on the floor, so he's really excited. He's being so bad, he wants my scrunchie. Now, the reason I've ultimately decided to film this video is because in preparing for my surgery, just to make myself feel more at ease, I've been watching a lot of rhinoplasty YouTube videos, and a lot of people are listing crazy amounts of vitamins that they take before and after surgery to heal faster. My personal doctor instructed me to get off of all of my vitamins and supplements. I did accidentally drink a Gatorade Fit, which has some vitamin C, I don't really know, in it. Um, so I was freaking out, but they said that was fine. So I've just been focusing on whole foods before my procedure, especially these last two weeks. So a lot of water, a lot of veggies, fruits, foods that make me feel good. I've also been working out a lot because I'm not gonna be able to work out for three weeks per my doctor's instructions. And I'm also not gonna be taking vitamins or supplements for two weeks after my procedure. So I did wanna let you guys know that is what my doctor instructed. It's extremely important to follow what your doctor instructs, but I just wanna put that out there because I had not heard that before I went in for my pre-op appointment. Also, I'm not gonna be filming in the office or anything with my doctor because I didn't think I was gonna be making this video, and honestly, I would have already asked them if I could film. And I also don't want my stint removal recorded, I'm gonna be honest. I've heard the stint removal is terrible, and I just wanna focus on healing and not being super invasive. So most of this video is going to be me filming fully made up after my procedure, talking about my experience, but definitely will not be recording a ton of the healing process. And I also wanna put a disclaimer. I do not think any Anyone owes you an explanation about anything they're doing should get plastic surgery this is not meant to be influential in any way I'm simply talking about my experience because I talk about my experience with things a lot on this channel and I just want to be honest about things that are going on now at one point I did have a perfect nose that I would probably not fix but a kid threw a basketball in my face and I distinctly remember hearing my nose crack ever since then I have noticed a bump on my nose you can see in photos that my nose drastically changed. I'll try to insert some photos if I can find them. And I've wanted to fix it ever since then. I've always kind of been aware of what plastic surgery is. So even from a young age, I kind of knew what it was, which might not be the healthiest thing, but I am really proud of myself for waiting until I was 27 to get this procedure when I was fully ready, when my nose was fully formed. And if my child wants to get a nose job or plastic surgery procedure in the future, 
I am not gonna allow them to do it when they're an adult and they make that decision. I'm really glad that my mom had me wait until I was fully financially stable and could do it. It's also gonna be really funny because I'm not telling too many people in my personal life. I guess I'll see who watches my YouTube videos and who doesn't in my personal life if they ask me about it. I did want to talk about pre-operation jitters and anxiety. So I have had like severe anxiety throughout the pandemic. I'll be totally transparent about that. Anxiety is something that has always been kind of in and out of my life. And I think just with, you know, being out of control with my environment during COVID, it just set it off in me. I don't really know why. And my doctor is also super booked and busy. So I had my consultation with him in November and it's May and I'm finally getting my nose job. So it took six full months and I've had six months to kind of stew on this and overthink and overanalyze and get really freaked out. So I'm trying to just remind myself not to stress, not to worry that I trust my doctor. I asked him all the right questions. I chose him for a reason. So in these next few days before my surgery, I'm trying to focus on relaxing, being as calm as possible, enjoying time with my puppy because he calms me down. I feel like he's my like little emotional stuffed animal. I love him so much. So um, I'm just going to be focusing on being positive and being in the right mindset going into surgery. But with that, I will see you post-op. Hey everyone, it's day two. I had my surgery yesterday and it went great. It was a really weird experience. I was sitting in the operating room chair and then I woke up and I was in a different chair. Um, I have really bad anxiety, like I mentioned in the intro. So they gave me a shot before I got anesthesia and made me in a great super chipper mood after surgery. I was like waving at everyone and like talking to people in the elevator. It was really funny. As far as the actual OR experience, so I walked in the office and immediately started crying. It was very emotional. And then after that, I sort of calmed down after talking to my doctor. I got really, really nervous, just the buildup. Obviously, I had six months to kind of overplay what was going to happen in my head. And it went much better than I thought it would. When I woke up, I had damp hair. They washed my hair with anesthetic shampoo. So I was like really confused. I was very coherent. I remember everything that happened. I was obviously like saying wacky shit, but... I remember saying all that, so it's kind of funny. Last night was absolutely miserable. Something that I was not prepared for was neck and back pain. Um, last night, I probably only slept like 30 minutes. It was awful. On top of that, you guys saw I have a puppy and he sleeps in our bed. So obviously he couldn't do that. He was in a crate next to my bed and he was just miserable. My fiance had to sleep on the floor. So I think we're all just really feeling it today. As far as pain goes, so I'm definitely in a lot of pain. My nose hurt really bad yesterday and my doctor didn't want to prescribe me an opioid, which I totally understand. But I think everyone's pain tolerance may be a little bit different with this recovery. For me personally, extra strength Tylenol is just not enough. So I've been taking extra strength Tylenol and my prescription pain meds and those have been really helping. I gave my doctor full permission to record me so he showed me immediately after. Recovering from this operation in particular if you don't tell anyone can be pretty isolating. I found it really encouraging and helpful to kind of watch other people's YouTube videos of their recovery process. It just makes me feel like I'm not as alone in this. Also cold drinks like pineapple juice, water, and cold brew coffee have been like lifesavers. They feel really good on the back of my throat um and applesauce is my new best friend so i'm like on the applesauce diet for now i don't really know how people are vlogging their experiences with this because i just feel so tired and miserable i'm gonna record as much as i can but probably won't be filming a lot so i will see you guys tomorrow I look worse but i feel way better today see my humidifier definitely get one of these. Also for the sake of honesty, something that people might not be aware of is I've had bloody ear discharge and earwax. So you might be leaking from all the crevices, just saying. It ain't cute, but day three feel way better. I actually got sleep last night. So I feel like I just feel more like myself. I took my drip pad off and you can see my stints really well. And I almost fainted when I looked in the mirror. Horrible. So 
don't look at yourself in the mirror if you have visible stints because you will want to cry. Hello everyone. It has been four days since I stepped out of surgery and I feel completely like myself again. It is so weird how out of nowhere your body can just bounce back. Sadly, my little guy here is sick and having diarrhea all day. So it's just one thing after another right now. And I feel like my nose is like taking shape. You can kind of see from here. It looks so different to me already. I feel like where the cast is right here is what I used to see in my eye line, if that makes sense. So the weirdest part of this is that my nose bump is not in my eye line anymore. So it's just the cast. So super excited to get this taken off. If I continue to recover this easily, I probably won't do any more check-ins until my cast removal. And then of course we'll do check-ins after that. Literally a little bit yellow under my eyes. Other than that, no bruising. This purple is the marker where they marked up my face. Still feeling queasy as hell and like I'm gonna pass out whenever I look into my nose. So I think the stent removal is not going to go well. So when I laugh or yawn, my stints hurt so bad. So I think all the pain that I'm experiencing when I laugh and yawn is from the stints. I can't really taste, but I'm weirdly starting to get my sense of smell back. I can smell a couple of like cleaning products. I'd say the biggest thing if you're focused on recovery is definitely sleep, night and day difference when I have gotten sleep and when I haven't, and make sure you're eating enough healthy calories. So I didn't have much of an appetite, but I forced myself to make a smoothie with tons of vegetables, tons of fruit, feeling way better. So hopefully the rest of recovery goes this easy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm very swollen, but holy cow. My nose looks so freaking good. Here is the front, here is the side. And here is the other side. My doctor did take some pictures today and he's gonna take some more pictures at my two week follow up. So super excited to see how the swelling goes down, but I am in shock already. I mean, obviously it's extremely swollen on the tip, but I'm like at a loss for words. I'm in my bathroom. I wanted to show you guys some products that really helped me get through the recovery. First is gonna be Q-tips. Definitely get Q-tips to clean your eyes, parts of your face, your ears, not the inside of your ears guys the outer part of your ears also some alcohol free toner i have this and and some burt's bees micellar water these were lifesavers when i was not able to wash my face also i only showered when i felt like it so this collab dry shampoo was great and a humidifier was really helpful for me definitely not a must-have but my tongue and my mouth got really dry so this crane humidifier i got it at target was great all right y'all and just like that it's like nothing ever happened <laughs> today is the day i had my stints removed so i am still extremely swollen that's why i have like no mobility in my face and i'm like making weird faces and laughing weird from the front i look like a who which i'm fully aware of no worries i feel like I look like the sexy who in The Grinch, but whatever. I was able to put makeup on. I am really good at putting makeup on gently, so I got it on my nose very lightly, but my skin looks insane, so I'm gonna have to do some major skin rehab because it's like the worst it's ever been. But from the side, I'm so happy. I literally cannot believe my nose looks like this. I'm not gonna lie, the stint removal was scary, but not as bad as I've heard or thought it would be. They were actually too two stints in each nostril, which I didn't realize. The first came out, didn't hurt at all. He then removed a stitch, which did slightly hurt, but nothing crazy. And then the removal of the inner splints is what people say feels awful. Getting lip filler was worse than getting my stints removed. And I've had cavities done that felt worse than that. So if anyone is super afraid of the stint removal, of course, everyone's body and pain tolerance is different. But in my personal experience, it wasn't too bad at all. What's weird, though my doctor was like are you okay because I was shaking uncontrollably after I think I was just super nervous and like the adrenaline was getting to me after I saw myself in the mirror I 
totally calmed down. I felt totally relaxed. He also gave me a surgery report of what happened during my surgery. He said there was some very slight deviation on the left, which is the side that really bothered me. I can already tell that I can breathe so much better. It's insane. Now I wanted to discuss my surgeon's name, pricing, and all of that jazz. So my doctor's name is Dino Eliosnia. He is in San Francisco. The reason I picked him is because he is a specialist in something called a preservation rhinoplasty. So obviously if you research him, he will go more in depth about what that means. So he's a specialist in longevity within nose jobs. So that's why I picked him. I also was pretty sure I wanted a closed rhinoplasty and I believe he does primarily do closed rhinoplasty. So it's important to understand the difference between an open and a closed, see what works better for you, see whatever surgeon you're interested in is a specialist in when you're making an informed decision about choosing a surgeon. My surgeon is also board certified, which was incredibly important to me. I would not go to anyone who is not American board certified. He's an MD FACS, I believe. So that's something I looked out for. And I actually found him as a referral through another plastic surgeon. So I had my heart set on going to a plastic surgeon in Los Angeles. And I knew it would just be a pain in the butt to go to him, stay in an Airbnb in LA for a week, do that whole thing. It would just be such a pain in my neck. I asked him for a referral in the Bay Area and he mentioned that my surgeon was a good friend of his and that's something that kind of sealed the deal for me after my consultation with my doctor. Knowing that another expert plastic surgeon that I really trusted is important because all these plastic surgeons know each other or know of each other. They build reputations. They know each other's work. So it's really important to get the opinion of a professional that you respect. Also my dermatologist, she's huge here on YouTube. I went to her right before my appointment just to check out my skin, make sure I was all good. And she said he had a great reputation. So because I had two doctors that I really trusted, I felt really comfortable and confident in going into surgery with Dr. E. So if you're in the Bay Area or you like my nose and you want to travel to the Bay Area, I will link him. He is at the Martin Clinic in San Francisco. In my opinion, it was an amazing state-of-the-art facility and experience, and I could not have asked for a better experience. I was so unbelievably anxious the week before my surgery. I can't even tell you. And it was so much easier than I thought it would be. Now let's talk price. I have my receipt here. So the grand total of my nose job was $16,350. Yeah, it ain't cheap. It ain't cheap. Now let's break down the cost. So the rhinoplasty itself was $9,900. The anesthesia fee was $3,000 and the facility fee, they have their own licensed facility, was $3,450, which brings the total to that. Because I am in the position to be able to do something like this, I feel very blessed. It took a lot of years for me to be able to afford something like this. Trust me. Hey guys, just wanted to post an update. It's been two weeks since my rhinoplasty. I had it two weeks ago yesterday and as you can see since that last clip I have a lot more mobility in my face I'm able to kind of move things around it still feels a little bit stiff on my upper lip so when I smile I feel like I look a little bit strange but I feel like I'm almost at 95% now so far only one person has noticed that I got a nose job and I talked to her about it in the past other than that, no one's really noticed. It looks like everything's kind of back to normal and I just feel so much more confident about myself and about my nose. It also might look a little different because I contoured it so I have a full face of makeup on right now. When I contour it, I really love how it looks. It looks so elevated and like exactly what I wanted. A good doctor will still keep it looking natural. So I feel like I have a really natural result for my face. Now from the side, you can obviously tell I've probably had something done but from the front I feel like my nose looks exactly like it did before I have my three-week checkup next week so I may talk to him about potentially shaving down the side a little bit here it's only really noticeable to me because I'm you know OCD about my nose obviously but other than that I think it looks exactly what I wanted. I didn't even really talk to him about my tip because I've always liked the tip of my nose, but I think that's my favorite part now. It looks 
so pretty and just like feminine that's like exactly what i wanted so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will of course post updates as my nose changes it is going to take about six to eight months to kind of see the final result normally it would take about a year but i have very thin skin it's like translucent on my eyelids and i've always kind of known i have thin skin so because of that it is going to be healing a little bit faster than you know someone with thicker skin would though i will of course be posting updates as my nose changes but hope you guys like this and i'll see you in the next one